Hey, it's Courtney with ClickingUpAnotch.com, and we have another video Q&A. So our question today is from Jennifer, and she says, Sometimes I see pictures and think, these are fabulous. I could never be that good. I know that becoming a good photographer doesn't happen overnight, but I still get discouraged. How do you overcome that discouragement and intimidation? That is such a good question, and one that I think we all struggle with, even if you other people think that you're really good. You are your own worst, worst critic. You are always going to be critiquing your images harder than everyone else's, and that's a good thing. That's what helps push you to grow. So when you are starting out, it's really easy to look at other people's work and think, oh, I'm never going to be that good. Don't look at their work. <laughs> Focus on yours, okay? They all started somewhere, too. They just may have started a couple years before you, so they have a head start. So don't compare yourself to other people and their work. That will definitely keep you feeling discouraged. So stop doing it. Also, you know, just keep <laughs> keep trying, keep trucking along, I keep thinking, but keep just trying to do it. Keep taking pictures every day. Keep photographing everything you see. Look for good light. Look for good composition. Um, read everything you can on photography and go practice it, okay? Um, you're always going to feel intimidated if that's what you're focusing in on. So don't focus in on that. Focus on your own work and what you can do to improve it. And you will get to where you want to be. One of the best things I did for my photography, I've mentioned it many times, is do a three, Project 365. I did it back in 2010. I had just started shooting in manual mode. I thought, you know what, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. And it was a long year and it was hard. but. From my picture from January 1st to my last picture December 31st, there was so much growth because I spent every day taking pictures. Some days they were terrible pictures. I would be embarrassed if anyone saw them. Some days they were amazing pictures, still some of my favorites. But I wasn't comparing myself to other people. I was comparing myself to my own work. Um, there's a quote out there somewhere, I don't know who said it, but it says, like, the only photographer you should compare yourself to is yourself. And if you do that, you will, your intimidation will be gone. Your discouragement will be gone. When I look back at those pictures from 2010, I'm like, holy cow, I'm amazing. Because look at my growth. I mean, I'm not trying to sound arrogant, arrogant, but it's just, I'm just comparing myself to myself. However, if I compared myself to another photographer who I admire, of course I'm going to be down in the dumps about it. I'm going to feel discouraged. I'm going to think, you know, why am I not where they are? We started at the same time, you know? Everyone is on a different path. And you're gonna get discouraged. You're gonna feel intimidated. Just push through it, okay? Just keep shooting, just keep trying, and stop looking at other people's stuff because that doesn't help you um, to get past that discouragement and intimidation. But you will get there. You will get to a point where you like your images and you're really proud of them. But just, you gotta keep shooting and keep trying. If it's really something that you wanna learn how to do, you'll get there, I promise. Um, if you have any questions for me that you'd like me to answer in the video Q&A, please email them to me at clickitupanotch at gmail.com. And you can put in the subject line video Q&A, so I know that's what you want it to do. And while you're here, be, please subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you'll be the first um, to find out about videos. I'm thinking about doing some videos just for the YouTube subscribers, so you don't want to miss out on those. And as always, if you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks.